Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi digs in on war against drugs in the country. Precious talent pupils fail to report to new school. Deadline looms for old Generation 1000 shillings note in demonetization exercise. And in sports, the Harambe Starlets in final preparations ahead of the Olympic qualifier march against the Black Queens of Ghana. A good evening and welcome to Breaking Today Tonight. My name is Lenny Rashid. Our sign language interpreter is Evelyn Wangui. It's going to be a painful war for drug dealers in the country. These were the words of Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi, who has faulted the judiciary on the war against drugs over the failure to convict known drug traffickers, giving an example of the Akasha brothers who were brought to justice after being extradited to the United States. Violet Komboka with more. Speaking during the unveiling of NACADA Strategic Plan 2019-2022, Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi urged every Kenyan to play a part to curb illicit trafficking, insisting that faith-based organizations, the community, law enforcement agencies, as well as the criminal justice system should play a major role. This comes even after CS criticized judiciary over failure to convict non-drug traffickers in the country. This comes even after the CS criticized judiciary over failure to convict non-drug traffickers in the country. We have a fantastic example in our president who has demonstrated absolute uh, resolution and commitment to this war against drugs and drug trafficking. We have firm instruction from the president. We are now working very hard with the Ministry of Health to reorganize Militini and uh, work with the you know, Red Cross and the others to create rehab capabilities in the coastal part of the country. The president is championing this and he has pushed us so much to work together with the, our colleagues in the Ministry of uh, Youth and Gender to ensure that we avail capability for rehabilitation, uh, for education and for awareness creation among us, our young people on the effects of uh, drug trafficking. Drug abuse is one of the top problems confronting the nation today, especially among the youth with incidences of drug and alcohol abuse and related antisocial behavior increasing tremendously. This has become a matter of concern to the government, parents, teachers, non-governmental organizations and all relevant agencies. If it's the this year, please let us, I mean, I mean, feel our guns torn. Where have you failed you this year? Tell Kenyan. Because you have been given a responsibility, and if it's not that you just go and say thank you, I failed you, and then I go. If it is the judicial, if it's the prosecution, if it is any other agency, instead of just only straining because now maybe the police, you are the soft ones, and because even body kicks us, we have no voice or anything to say. Okay, so the police failed poor investigation, poor prosecution, and all that. But there is somewhere where people don't want to talk about. Because now this fear is the one which is going to consume us. So if we know the people now who now have absolutely taken over everything, is the time for us to emancipate by saying the truth. If it's about this drug trafficker, this drug baron, we know them. And now when we take action, this is the time now we come up as a country, we come up and say one voice that no, we know who is the problem. And that is the time we are going to assist us. The National Authority for the Campaign Against Alcohol and Drug Abuse, NACADA, further emphasized on the task at hand to control, prevent, and treat those affected with drugs. Since the campaigns were rolled out in the coastal region, over 30 active cases have been taken in with investigations ongoing on many others. Emphasis was also laid on advancement of reforms and management of the country's border system. Since the campaigns were rolled out in the coastal region, over 30 active cases have been taken in, with investigations ongoing on many others. Emphasis was also laid on advancement of reforms and management of the country border entry points. The problem is we don't want to be, we don't want to be real as a society, you know, and everyone wants to leave it to the other person to do it. You know, the parents want the teachers and the government to be able to, to take care of the problem, and hence it's a... It's our society problem, you know. Everyone needs to do their job when it comes to alcohol and drug abuse. It's a responsibility for the government, for the church, for the parents, for the uncles, for the brothers, for the sisters, basically everyone, you know. And I feel like also 
uh, people need to be real. You know, the, the way we sugarcoat things and we don't want to talk about, like, like this thing of parents not wanting to talk about alcoholism with their kids and expecting them to understand it when they get into it, you know? Even if I go to school and study, I need to understand why my dad was drinking. Matiangi urged Kenyans to remain we committed to the fight to so that lives of innocent Kenyans are not lost you. in the hands of thugs. Violet Kwamboka, Switch TV. It is now emerging that married couples still consider it a woman's responsibility to choose which contraceptive method to use with men still not comfortable in discussing the topic. This is according to a report released today by the National Council for Population Development and AMREF Kenya, which further notes that Central Kenya leads at 70% in contraceptives use in the country. And we are the convener of this meeting. Women still remain in the forefront when it comes to using contraceptives, with only 2% of men using contraceptives in the country. This is according to a report released on Monday by the National Council for Population Development and AMREF Kenya, which noted that women should be empowered more in order to make the right family planning decisions and spacing of children, which will go a long way in reducing maternal deaths. While we all know the economic benefits of this, we still have increasing incidences of uh, teenage pregnancies, and this we need to check. We still have high incidences of maternal mortality. According to the report, Central Kenya leads in awareness and use of contraceptives at 70%, while the former northeastern provinces are still behind at only 4%. I know that we have achieved a lot, but still there's a gap where the unmet need is a problem. And I know we are going there. So long as we just find a way of domestic financing for family planning, I know somewhere in maybe 2021, 2022, towards 20, uh, Vision 2030, Kenya will be somewhere. Contraceptives use among the youth was also found to be as high as among the old, while married couples consider it as a woman's responsibility to choose which method will best suit them. Unatumia tu, like basically kwa ujui dem, unatumia. Juu zi juu, nataka kuna madem wana ndaki pia na tuyo staff manzi. Na hadi shida ni au, like au affect, sio juu staff, like au affect la kini wana ndaki yake pia na sio juu zi juu. Kadem ni zapata ni mrahisi sana. Various stakeholders have also faulted the government policies of allocating resources to the counties basing on population which has opened window for politics with many urging their constituents to sire more children in order to safeguard their county's interests. Family planning contraceptives come in many forms, long-acting reversible contraception, such as the implants or intrauterine device, hormonal contraceptives such as the pill. Injection barrier methods such as the condoms, emergency contraceptives, fertility awareness, as well as permanent contraceptives such as vasectomy and tubal ligation. Wanda Bwanyama, Switch TV. In a rather sad story, rescuers are still searching for two victims of the Mombasa Likoni Channel accident whose vehicle plunged into the Indian Ocean. The authorities have identified a 35 year old woman, Mariam Kigenda, and her daughter as the missing victims who the divers are looking for after the accident. Her daughter has been identified as four year old Amanda Muthel. Videos circulated showed their grey saloon car floating halfway on the ocean as it sunk within seconds amid screams from onlookers. Likoni OCPD Benjamin Rutich said that the car lost brakes and reversed just before the ferry docked. He said that ferry officials attempted to throw out rescue savers near the car, but the two were trapped inside the car and could not access them. Uh, MV Harambe, which is a worse situation, and MV Nyayo, so that uh, we have uh, safer vessels to operate. Eh, kwa usalamu wa kazo liko ni minesema kwanza itakwane ya FIFA, kwa sababu tumejaribu kukriete rescue center mo tukepeleka pale kena ferry, lakini kena ferry tulepa, tupeleka barwa zetu nyingi tu, ambazo tutumeomba at least wawe na wa udumu, madeva, sikila feri wena deva, at least deva, moja ama wawili. 
lakini swala hilo ukisema kweli hata MD anaweza thibitisha swala hilo haja lichukuliwa kipaumbele the government is focused on making all schools in the country habitable for learners. Deputy President Dr. William Ruto has said he noted that the move would make classrooms conducive for learning. He added that the realization of the Big Four agenda and the Vision 2030 was a function of the skills gained in learning institutions. The Deputy President spoke today in Kimilili, Bungoma County, where he laid a foundation stone for the construction of eight classrooms at Matili French Primary School. The Deputy President also also opened 16 new classrooms at Namakhele and Nasianda primary schools. Dr. Ruto said the government had taken the sole role of catering for tuition for every learner in public institutions. <laughs> hawajalipa pesa ya mankuli sijui ya lunch mimi nataka niwaelezi kuna tofauti mkubwa kati ya darasani kusoma na kule kwenye dining hall kukula those are two different things kama mtoto mzazi wake hajalipia pesa kule dining hall ya chakula basi kwenda simama mlango ya dining hall mtoto asiende kule lakini darasani ni lazima kila mtoto wa Kenya aende asome kwa sababu serikali ya Kenya inagaramia masomo ya watoto wetu wote. We're taking a short break. We'll be right back with lots more Keep It Switch. Don't touch that dial. Welcome back to Breaking Today. If you still have the old 1,000 Kenyan shillings note, consider it just a piece of paper. This follows the lapse of the 30th September 2019 deadline for Kenyans to have changed the old notes with the new 1,000 Kenyan shillings note, with CBK noting that a deadline of the same would not be given. With today being the deadline for Kenyans to return the old 1,000 Kenyan shillings note following the currency demonetization, Big fish who did not return their stashed cash in time will have to do with the remaining with worthless cash. With CBK noting the close of 1 billion shillings was yet to be returned as of last week. A new print of a thousand shillings banknote, the largest denomination, was rolled out in June with Kenyans given to September 30th to exchange their old bills at the bank or be stuck with the bundles of useless cash. We have had uh, cases of parliamentarians complaining that the rollout of new currency was not uh, legal because it was, it was done suddenly. Kenyans were not awaiting for that. And also the timeline was a bit short. It is aimed at flushing out dirty money being hoarded by tax evaders, crooked businessmen and criminal groups. The central bank in June said there were roughly 218 million 1,000 shilling notes in circulation, but declined to say what proportion was being stashed as black market. Ikiwa tayari wameanza kutengeneza hizi mpia, sapandia, uvisadi utaisha hizi na Kenya, uwezi isha. Hizo pesa, wale kwenye wakua na situmi hizo pesa, hata vile wame sirudisha, ni wawo wawo tu kwenye wakuna pesa inge wako. Ala sababu wakuna mwenye utasasema imerudisha hende kwa mtu mwingine, ni wale wale tu. Enshrined in law under Article 231, Section 4 of the Constitution that states currency should not bear people's portrait, the demonetization process was in part meant to stem corruption and illicit financial flows. According to the Central Bank of Kenya, conversion stood at 100 million shillings notes as at the end of August against a target of 217 million. The question that continues to beg in all this is whether the demonetization will have the desired impact in fighting corruption, with India having conducted such an exercise in 2016, but yielded little with digital transactions, instead spiking due to the consequent acute cash shortage. We are still new to it. Na, si kila msa na joizo instructions. Una joali pana some instructions ujo, if it's real or not. But signing room will be there to find out. Na hizi noti mpya, atuko familiar sana. Nimeona hizo ma guidelines, like kuna yo color change on the on your strip, but itakuwa ngumu. 
Because hata na zile zingine kutel counterfeit ni, ni ngumu bado. So itakuwa ngumu kiasi kwa. The shortfall by close of business this evening will be deemed as dirty money that did not transition into the economy. CBK has previously insisted that no time will be added to extend the deadline, saying that people had been given enough time. Dana Rose, Switch TV. Precious Talent School parents have declined a directive by Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha to relocate their pupils to other schools, among them Ngong Forest Primary, Jamhuri Primary and Riruta Satellite School. The parents say the schools are located far away from them and that most of them are not top performers. Following a directive by Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha on the closure and transfer of Precious Talent School students to Ngong Forest Primary, Jamuhuri Primary and Riruta Satellite, some of the parents that we spoke to at Precious School have vehemently opposed the move and have vowed not to obey the directive no matter what. But what could be behind their reasoning? <laughs> For example, we are going to Jamuri. We are going to Sapa. We are going to Kwamanyumba. Sapa. Come on, you week in days. Sambiri, we are going to Kwamanyumba. Sapa. Come on, you week in days. Sambiri, we are going to Kwamanyumba. Sapa. Come on, you week in days. Sambiri, we are going to Kwamanyumba. Sapa. Come on, you week in days. Sambiri, we are going to Kwamanyumba. Sapa. Come on, you week in days. Sambiri, we are going to Kwamanyumba. Sapa. Come on, you week in days. Sambiri, we are going to Kwamanyumba. Sapa. Come on, you week in days. Sambiri, we are going to Kwamanyumba. Sapa. The parents also cited poor performance and harassment in some of the proposed schools, especially when they don't pay school fees or lunch in good time. The directive by Magoha included that other schools in the country with similar substandard buildings would be shut down in a bid to avoid a similar tragedy. Nilikuwa na mtoto, Jamuri, akiwa class 8. Kazi ya mwalimu mku, Mrs. Mungai, nandarudia Mrs. Mungai. Alifanya mtoto wangu akapata mimba akiwa class 8. Alikuwa anaenda shule, wengine wakifukuzwa lunch wanatoka nao. Harudi nyumbani wanaenda kuzunguka, especially wakati kama hii wa show. Na si uongo. Na mtafanya mta, mta tu chunguzi yenu kivyenu. Mtu ana watoto wamejaa showground na mara mingi wakishiko ni wa jamhuri. Juu akifukuzwa pesa ya lunch watoto wanaenda kuzunguka. As much as the majority of those we spoke to were rigid, a few of them were flexible to move their children as long as the government will eventually build a school in the area. The option is that uh, if the government is still on progress thinking whether they can return this school, uh, the direction that they are giving me to, if it is to take uh, my child there at a uh, Gong forests, satellite, obvious I can uh, respect you for that as far as uh, I know that they will return this school. In an interview the head teacher of Jamhuri Primary School, however, the story is different. Kimani notes that the school had a successful registration of about 67 pupils, to which was witnessed by Education CS George Magoha and was hopeful that more will register in the course of the week. We don't send children away, and neither have we sent any. And today, when I received them, I have fed all of them. What money have they given? Nothing. Our performance is 249%, uh, and uh, our best candidate had 427, who is at his tarehe now. And I want to believe even getting 300 is possible. With time running out, especially for the class 8 candidates, the situation remains a wait and see situation to see who blinks first, the government or the parents. Sally Limo, Switch TV. Let's take a look at the money markets up next.
World 3000 meters steeplechase record holder Beatrice Chepko Etch will lead her compatriots 2015 champion Heaven Kiyang and world under 20 steeplechase champion Selefine Chespol as the trio seek to defend the title and win Kenya more medals in the ongoing IAAF Athletics World Championships tonight. The trio earned an automatic qualification in the final after making it during the 3000 meters steeplechase heats. Chepko Etch, who missed water jump to wreck her winning chances in 2017, cruised to the final after posting 918.01 in winning the heat. Apart from the American, the Kenyans are likely to face the challenge from Uganda's national record holder, Peruth Chamutai, who won the heat one in 921.98. The three women will run the steeplechase final today at 9.50 p.m. We are the winners here. <laughs> Kenya Premier League champions Gor Mahil have blamed lack of motivation and enough time for preparation after the dream of making it to the group stages of the CAF Champions League ended on Sunday when they were knocked out of the first round following a 6-1 aggregate loss to Algeria's USM Algiers. <laughs> Watu watatujua, sisi ni akina nani? Thing one, shida ni your registration of players. Unapata hatu nabai players who are deadly, but die to let registration, awezi tusaidia. Kaa, unawana tuma strike away tuwe nyo waneza tusaidia, wamepiga tuma look, wamekana ma fans. Unjua preparation ina kuanga kitu mimu sana. Like, we pray, we... Awa watu walitucheza my end game, walisema wana doon in his river. So we buy, we bought their, their games. So leo kuchukuja leo Gormaya fans came in large numbers but the the Gormaya adopted the e-ticketing it had corner challenges most of the fans were at the gate but on the second minute the team are already considered so you know, the planning of the game in, in a matter lot kila club inategemea inategemea mdhamini ambapo mdhamini akijitoa tu hivi masaibu yameanza unapata oh wachezaji waezi cheza mpira unajua motisha motisha mchezaji ni alipwe My director, Dan Kilonzo, said the ground need different. The Kenya women national team Harambe Starlets is set to leave for Ghana on Tuesday ahead of the scheduled Olympics qualifier. Starlets have been in camp for a week now and it's all systems go for the crucial qualifier whose winner will proceed to the fourth qualification round. The team departs Kenya on Tuesday at 8.10 a.m. and is expected in Ghana at 10.30 a.m. Ghana time. Starlets are aiming to improve against the Black Queens after losing 3-1 in Accra during Alcan. Our prior to this clash... Starlets beat Malawi 5-3 on aggregate win while Black Queens were no match for Gabon as they crushed them 5-0 also on aggregate. Jaribu kuangalia mara mingi, uh, tumejaribu kutumia zile flanks, uh, kuweza kudevelop attack zetu ambao tuna invite uh, crosses, uh, especially, especially za chini, eh, low uh, crosses ambao zime kwa zikitupea uh, matokeo. So hii ni jambo ambao tumekuwa tukitilia manani na anaweza kasema kwa sahi wakati huu uh, team imejitarisha viema. Kizaji ni wale wale na hawa pia wanaudua, so kenye hiko ni kujiamini tu kisema unaweza. Ghana City mwenye inaweza kutushtua. Juu tuliwafunga au wakatufunga na set piece tuseme dakika ya 87. So ukiangalia hapo si tulikuwa juu ya Manchester United's forward Marcus Rashford and midfielder Paul Pogba are set to feature in today's English Premier League clash against bitter rivals Arsenal FC. Arsenal striker Alexandre Lacazette is ruled out with an ankle injury. Dinis Marvopanos is available for selection after a groin problem with Emil Smith Rowe is sidelined by concussion but Rob Holding, Hector Bellerin and and Kieran Thernry are all fit, with the latter available to make his Premier League debut tonight. For me, it's uh, it's a team um, improving. It's in, in evolving. I think it's a young team. The culture is there. Uh, I, I see them every single day in training, and we don't have any issues with attitude or work rate, desire. Now is, can we trust ourselves? Can we find that little that composure? You can see against. Astana, Rochdale, like the boys, they want to impress, they want to do well. And maybe they, they rush the finish at times, so that's, it's, um, it's getting there. We have two injuries, it's like I said, and Emil Smith-Low. And uh, hopefully in, in, in a few weeks can, 
can be with us uh, training and, and the possibility available to play. But really, really, we are very happy with uh, with Rob, Hel Rob Holding, with with uh, Hector and with Kieran. That's the end of breaking today. Tonight, do enjoy the rest of your viewing. Keep it switch.